select career to get started and then start game one. The best uh, option is new farmer. Once you get used to the game, then continue. Wait for the game to load. You can select the type of map that you want. So you've got option of US, France, Germany. Um, popping into the US one. Don't worry about these, these are just the mods that I've got. And then you start the game. Takes a little while for the game to load. Then start. And then choosing your character, simply click on one of your options for the uh, head profile. Hairstyles, um, those with buckets next to them, you can click on the bucket and then select color down the bottom and choose a hair color. Then uh, also working down the side, because I've chosen a girl, I can't do beards or moustaches. And notice in 2022, they've introduced outfits and branded clothing. So you can come back, change your clothing. I'll show you that later. Even change the color. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to choose a shirt, so I'm just going to choose the summer one, and again, clicking on the bucket and select color, and then change the color. Pants, so I've chosen jeans, again, click on the bucket to change the color. And your boots, so you've got uh, all sorts of styles of boots. And again, you can choose the uh, color. And then hats, this also includes caps, berets, beanies. This color changes the uh, accent color of the cap. Gloves, if you wish your character to have gloves. Notice only some of them have changing color. And then sunglasses, or oh, let me just go back and if you hover you can see a example of what the glasses would look like and then confirm your character. You could take the tour if you like and then uh, we're just going to say OK on this. It indicates that you click the left button on your mouse to accept that. Now, just popping in, uh, I pushed escape on the keyboard and I'm just popping into settings. So this is really important before you start the game. So if you're in a, a different part of the world, you can change your money, monetary unit measurements, temperature. Now I'm on a um, joystick and I'm finding that it's really sensitive so I had to um, change the steering sensitivity. You can bump it down even more if it's still too sensitive. Then going on to uh, game settings, you can change the name of the game. And 
whether you want auto save intervals on uh, and if so at what intervals would you like I find um, when I'm for, when I'm first starting out on a game I like to turn this off so I have the option of when to save time scale I've done it five times just for the sake of this video but you can change it down to real time seasonal growth I've turned off and I've made days per month one day equals a month snow I've turned off crop destruction definitely turn off <laughs> Fieldstone, turn off. Keep your trailer fill limit off. Alright, now if you need to set up your joystick, go to the uh, keyboard controls, then click gamepad then you would need to click into each of these so you would click and then actually do the movement of your joystick for each of these then scrolling down I've done a button for honk button on the joystick and I've also done two buttons for signaling left and right okay so let's go back now the first thing I do is I check what equipment I have and then I sell some. So if you do P on your keyboard it comes to the store and then you click on the, it looks like a shed, this is your garage, what you own. And then if you click into each of these and select, uh, it gives you a fair idea of what it's worth. And I'm going to sell that uh, simply because I don't use the ute at all. It's just a commodity that's sitting on the property. I never use it. If you use it, by all means, keep it. Then I have a look at the tractors um, and have a look at the horsepower and the speed that they can work at. And then I usually keep the one that's got the highest horsepower. and then whether I want to keep one of these smaller ones. I actually end up selling all three tractors by the end of the game. And then just having a look that I'm happy to keep both of these. Yeah, I decided to sell that one. Okay, so we've got a bit of money in the bank. Normally you would start with 100,000, so we've bumped it up a bit. And I want to go in and get a um, medium sized tractor simply because I'm looking for more horsepower and speed, pulling speed really. But I don't want to spend too much money. I want to leave one, at least 100, a little bit over actually, 100,000 is still in the bank. I don't want to empty the bank. And the, you'll see the larger tractors, they're just too expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. So I'm going to pop back and have another look at medium tractors. Again, still looking at the horsepower. Oh, and you have to drag this bar to move along. This one's a good price and the um, pulling power 
is good, 50Ks, and the horsepower is good. So the next one along is too expensive. So uh, you pop in here, customize. Um, I don't want to spend any more money, so I'm going to leave it as is off the shelf. This is a good little tractor. And buy. And uh, that'll be at the shop, so we need to go down there and pick it up. And there's a couple more things that I want to do uh, while I'm in the shop. Um, the trailer. So our existing trailer, the one that comes on the property. So let's go back and have a look on the garage trailers. And then popping back in. I'm just going to have a look at the weights because you need a weight on your tractor as well. So it's saying I've already got two. So that's okay. Uh, now trailers and select. And uh, see that it's only eight cubic meters. That's quite small actually, the capacity. So I always sell that trailer. Definitely want to sell it. And I want to get a bigger one. Or else you're just toing and froing right at the beginning of your game. So let's pop in, have a look at trailers. And then again, just watch the price. You don't want to spend too much money. And then you've got to pull this bar across to move your selections. Now these two side by side, the Bretner and the Rudolph, both the same price. So let's see, capacity 18.5, the, the same capacity, same price. So weighing up which one to take, <laughs> actually. They both got covers. And then you look at what type of product it can put in. So I've chosen the Brentner. And again, I'm not going to add to it at all. I'll take it as is and purchase that. Didn't want to spend too much money. And then we're going back to the shop. Now under others, I just wanted to point out wardrobe. This is where you can pop back and change your character. So if you click on wardrobe and then select. And then um, construction, we're going to select this. And I just want to show you under, let me just find it. Yeah, um, generators. Uh, I'm interested in buying a solar panel, and you'll see that it's uh, 93,500. And um, there used to be one around about 100,000, but it, this looks like there's only one here at the moment. And I can't navigate forward, can't navigate back, so this is my only option. I do want to buy this, this is why I've left some money in the bank. Now, the reason why I want to buy the solar panel is it's passive income. So as the time ticks by in your game, the solar panel earns money. Obviously, these ones are a bit too uh, expensive. Yeah, so I'll go for the solar panel, I think. That one, I think that one's too small. And looking on the right hand side, how much is, do you get per month? So 8,928 per month. This is just passive income. You, you don't have to do anything. So now, once you click it, it wants to place it. And the next time you click your mouse, it will place it. So be careful. Just keep your finger on the mouse. Um, 
just drag it around but don't click your finger again or else it'll place it. Now to move around on the map you need to do it on your keyboard. So W for forward, S for back, A for left and D for right and this is this will move your um, your farm your your land around your view around and I'm just looking at where I can place it you want to try and find some flat land but some place where it gets a lot of sun as well and I'm just looking here by this structure here and I want it to be as close to the purchase price as possible I don't want to um, go over nine ninety three thousand five hundred because uh, this is construction cost so this looks good and then when you click your mouse again it'll place it in that area it'll do all the construction and then pop your solar panel onto the onto your land and it has to be land that you own Yeah, so still looking for a good place. I think it has to be back where, just back over here. Yeah, click it and then um, you just push escape or else it'll want to plant another one. Now notice that the solar panel turns to face the sun. So it'll do that right throughout the game to capture as much sun as possible. Okay, so just to pop back into the game and I just want to walk over to the solar panel and have a look. So I'm just doing W on my keyboard to move my character and we'll have a good look at this. So it's a fair size. So it will provide electricity for or power for your farm and then um, your income is the, um, the power gets sold back onto the grid and so the government pays you money for the, um, the power going to the grid. Now just popping back in here just looking checking at your finances um, just so you can keep track so it shows we bought some new vehicles, construction cost, that was for the solar panel. Now um, property income is where the money, um, you'll see the money coming in for the solar panel. So property income and then you can just keep a track of um, what other costs are coming up on your land as well. If you take any contracts, there's contract income. Yeah, so this is a good place to come and um, compare month to month uh, if you're interested in the income finances side of things. Okay. All right, and then when you push tab, you uh, hop into vehicles that you own. So we own this harvester. And F1 gives you the menu for this piece of machinery. And to operate, you'd need to do um, the uh, X. So I'm just showing you X, fold harvester, unfold harvester, Q picks up anything that can attach to your equipment and then if you do Q again it um, drops it now I just want to um, line up so I work outside the uh, harvester and I line up the left hand side of the the um, blade uh, onto the left hand side of your field. 
so you can keep track. You could work inside if you like, but it's really hard to see the the sides of your your blade. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so you're not sitting there watching me harvesting this crop. And this is now with the joystick. If you don't have a joystick, W for forward, S for back, A for left, and D for right. And we're keeping on the time um, and the income top right on that panel top right. So it's 9.52 in the morning. And currently we've got 22,999. So just watch that as the clock ticks over. Let's see what happens on the hour. Uh, also, you, um, you'll see that there's swaths being made. Um, you can turn this on when you do F1. Just let, let me finish this row. And I'll just stop at the top here. Um, let's do F1 to get our menu back. Um, the comma will allow you to do swaths and um, I, I think it's a good idea uh, on the fields that you own uh, is to do swaths because it's another form of income and uh, if you don't have swaths turned on all of the, um, the considerate straw just gets chucked out the back and uh, seems to go to waste. So you might as well turn swaths on and then you can come around with another piece of equipment and it picks up the straw and you can sell, sell the straw to the barn. And then you're not only getting the harvest but you're getting income from the straw as well. So just a wee tip there. So I'm just fast forwarding just so you're not sitting through all this harvesting. All right, and did you see the time? The time ticked over. We've now got uh, an increase in our income. We haven't sold anything, um, but it was just from the solar panel. So that's uh, a lovely way to get your income without cheating. So I'll just finish off this last run. get a nice flat area um, B to turn your harvester off O to put out the pipe and then I've tabbed and now I'm in the tractor and I need my trailer so because I purchased tractor and trailer I've tabbed to the shop they're both there instead of driving one tractor from my property down there I've already got a tractor here so now I, again this is with the joystick so you'll be doing S A and D uh, on your keyboard if you don't have the joystick and Q to uh, pick up the trailer and then I'm just going to fast forward this for the trip back to the farm. So this store is just down the road. So you'll see the farm coming up on the left. So this is our property here. You can see the field that's been harvested with nice swaths on the, on the ground. In to open up the cover on the trailer. Now I always approach the harvester from the back and on a slight angle so otherwise you'll catch the blade on the trailer or sorry on the uh, tractor front 
and I line up the middle of the cab with the pipe and then you need to tab your character into the harvester and no sooner you um, hop into the harvester then uh, I'm actually I've done it uh, E for exit and then W and then the doing the mouse to um, move around and then E to hop back in and no sooner I'm in then the grain um, comes into the trailer it's not like in farming 2019 where no sooner you pulled up your trailer um, it would begin to fill you actually have to be in the equipment or machinery for it to work so O to bring the pipe back in and I just want to show you if you didn't empty it in the trailer you've got your own silo down here so you could if you've still got the product in your harvester you could come up next to this filling station and you could put the pipe out and it would um, go into your silo but I'm just going to park here the harvester emptied it into the trailer and then I'm just going to do in to put the cover on the trailer and I'm just going to park here just for a minute because I want to uh, pop down to the shop and I want to pick up the um, swaths um, but you need a sp specific piece of machinery to do that so Q to detach so it's the same um, button on your keyboard, Q to attach, Q to detach and I'm just popping over here um, because there's a, a weight for the front and I'm just weighing out whether I need a weight on this one on this tractor that I'm in or not so a weight on the front will stop the um, tractor from lifting when I've got something on the back so I've just popped into the shop and I've decided I don't need the weight but I want to look for something that um, it forages the swaths on the ground yeah there forage wagons forage wagons and then select and we're not going to buy it we're going to lease it so don't worry about these prices here and again I'm just looking at the capacity 16.1 cubic meters I don't really need a big one so I've decided on this one and see how the horsepower matters yeah. and then lease and I'll, I won't have it for long so it won't cost me a lot so yes I'm going to lease this and that'll be at the shop so I'll just pop down in this tractor now this is the um, new tractor that I purchased so it's got good uh, horsepower you can see how touchy the steering is uh, I'm just going to pop in this driveway and then approach the trailer from the back come around to the front you see I've got my indicator going so that would have been a button on the joystick Q to attach and then I'll just fast forward while I um, take this back to the farm
and then you uh, line up your tractor so that it will uh, straddle a swath and then F1 so you can see V lower pick up so you do that first and then B turns it on so if I zoom in here you can see the equipment working so you know that you've turned it on and then you just ride over the top of a swath and it gets picked up in the back so very simple and I'll, um, I'll just uh, in a minute I'll just fast forward this so you're not sitting here watching me do all this Now there's a indicator to the left of your dial where it's got um, your case per hour, how much your your machinery is working at. So just to the left, it's got how full your uh, forage wagon is, and it's also got a symbol of what the straw looks like. And so once we reach 100% uh, full, there we go, there's 100%. So we need to drop this off. So I've pushed escape and then under um, uh, prices, see we need to look for that symbol for straw and Yes, South Valley is the highest, but it's also dropping. So I'm going to go for the one that's at $101. And then if you push 9 on your keyboard and keep pushing 9, your um, inset map will increase in size. So we just need to see where we're going. You'll see that it's flashing on the map. And you, you could also tag this place if you like. So you see on the map uh, the tractor and trailer. And we're hitting that uh, green beam is tag. And then once we reach there then that green beam will disappear. So I just reduced the size of the in, inset map, just pushed 9 to reduce it. And then you can indicate that you're turning. Now approaching this place, it's good to um, have your vehicle come as close as to as close as possible to the building on your left so keep keep as close as you can to this one and then at the end turning right and then keep as close as you can to that building and then when you turn into this unloading area you're in a good spot you don't have to worry about backing and all sorts press I to unload and then what I did was I went back to the farm, picked up the next um, final lot of straw that came to about another $105. Then to return this forage wagon, you would um, detach it from your trailer, Q. Then do P and then down the left hand side is a key. 
press the key and that shows your leased items then click on the forage wagon and then push return. I took a contract and with the solar panel ticking over I ended up with uh, 200 and something at the end of the game.